costumed, faces masked and makeup, fake teeth and eyelashes, tons of hairspray, trophies and crowns, all coming together to make up child beauty pageants. How many people have seen the show Toddlers and Tiaras? Okay, well through this TLC TV show Toddlers and Tiaras, child beauty pageants have become very well known and quickly criticized as being unhealthy for these young children. The children are as young as babies and toddlers and are and their participation is involving themselves in more than just a beauty competition, but is also setting themselves up for future psychological problems. Watching the show, we see the work and stress that all these little girls are going through, and what we don't see is all the negative effects it has on these participants. They are surrounded by the images of perfection, beauty, and a great amount of competition, but this is also leading them to believe that appearance is all that matters. They get all dolled up, making themselves more look, look more like um, women instead of young, innocent children. These pageants may seem all about the glitz and glamour, but in reality are causing psychological risks and focus way too much on their physical appearance. Child beauty pageants have negative psychological effects on the young participants. Pageants can cause destructing values that go hand in hand with psychological risk. Reported by psychologytoday.com, pageants can influence self-esteem, body image, self-worth, and problems with dieting and eating disorders. It all starts because at a young age, they are taught that they need to attain physical perfection. They are also programmed with unrealistic expectations to be thin, to have perfect smiles, to have their flawless posture, and they have to change themselves to make them look good because that's what you have to do to win. According to Lucia Grossaru, who is a clinical psychologist, a child, especially a female, that is going to pay so much attention to her looks and that knows she's being assessed for it is very prone to develop eating disorders such as anorexia and bulimia. Martina Cartwright, professor of the nutritional sciences at the University of Arizona, agrees and shares that in her, um, in her experience as a dietitian, she has found that many of the young women with eating disorders were trained, to, were trained at a very young age to value physical perfection and attractiveness. For the children who go through mass amounts of stress, hours and hours of um, rehearsal, practicing their dance, little dance routines and what they're best at, um, and the, they have the, perfect, the idea that they have to look perfect, and when they lose more than they win, it easily lowers their self-esteem. Some people would argue that the competition builds confidence and self-esteem, but when put under all the pressure from their parents that they have to win, their hopes are devastatingly crushed when they don't succeed. The parents build up their desire to win and that they have to be number one. When they fail, parents enforce that they have to work harder on the routines for next time, they have to add more makeup, instead of encouraging that it's okay to lose and you can't win all the time. Although a little competition isn't always a bad thing, when it's forced to drastic measures it can, and can only be attained through physical perfection, it has damaging effects on the young child's self-esteem and enforces the idea that appearance is everything. Children in pageants usually have caked on makeup, they have fancy hair, and they look older than they really are. Moms at pageants, as we've all, as whoever's seen the show, have seen the moms gluing on their fake eyelashes as the kids are throwing tantrums and screaming. They get the kids spray tanned, they hire hairstylists to drench their hair in hairspray and tease it and make it all big and curly. They even get flippers for their kids, which are like fake teeth, kind of like dentures, to make their teeth look better. So they do that to perfect their smiles. They, moms basically, basically believe that you have to look good to win. Appearance is everything in these pageants, and when discussing child, um, child pageants, William Pinsock, who's a clinical psychologist, said that being a little Barbie doll says your body has to be a certain way and your hair has to be a certain way. Dressing up these little girls and perfecting appearance is taking away their innocence. There's no reason for five-year-old little girls to be walking around and strutting themselves and dressing up like they're teenagers. Martina Cartwright believes that the hypercritical environment of their, young, um, of their youth produces a drive towards unattainable goals of physical perfection. These little girls are being taught that they need to be dolled up in makeup and they have to have these all pretty sparkly gowns and all their other little assets to be beautiful that how they look naturally isn't good enough. After looking behind the scenes, we see that there are many, there's a main priority of achieving physical perfection and a long-term negative effect of psychological problems that comes along with the glitz and glamour. These child beauty pageants place a lot of stress on the children and set them up for future problems with self-esteem, 
issues, eating disorders, and dissatisfaction with their bodies. Beauty pageant contestants are faced with the pressure to look perfect and they need to be dressed up to look pretty. How they look naturally just isn't good enough. It isn't fair that a child is being set up at such an early age for so many possible lifelong problems and that